any technique that we can come up with that makes it interesting for us is actually beneficial for our language learning because it keeps us engaged. Hi, Steve Kaufman here again. And today I want to talk about a new approach to working with your language content when you are in the plateau. Now, remember, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. And if you follow me on a podcast service, please leave a comment. I do appreciate it. Now, many of you may remember when I talked about the hockey stick. Okay. And the story there is that when we start in a language, we have a very steep climb, but it's kind of satisfying because we're seeing, oh, maybe this way you can see the different colors we're encountering high frequency words quite often. And so it's easier to learn them because they they're high frequency, they show up more often. But once we sort of turn the corner here, and we're on this long road, this shaft of the hockey stick, we're going from essentially A2 or B1, and we want to reach B2. B2 is that comfortable spot where you can understand movies, you still make mistakes, there's still gaps in what you understand in your comprehension, but you're you're kind of launched, you're on your own. But here, right now in my Persian, I'm be in between that, okay? So I've I've developed a new technique that I want to share with you. It might be helpful for you in your language learning. So what I do is I go to my normal source of podcasts in Farsi, which is Radio Fardo, which is you know, Radio Free Europe, Persian language edition. And every day there are a number of podcasts talking about the news in Iran, the news in the Middle East, the news in the world. And it has a lot of good vocabulary for things that I'm interested in. So I download this podcast, I get a transcript on Happy Scribe, I import the MP3 file and the transcripts into Link. So now I have a lesson. It's 30 minutes of audio and the corresponding amount of text. Now, because it's written in the Arabic script, it actually takes me a long time to read. It takes me 30 minutes to listen. It takes me maybe an hour and a half to read through this thing. I'm at the point now where I know most of the words. So it's of course good to read again, develop better fluency at reading, but it also slows me down. So what I find myself more and more doing, I may start reading the whole thing and then perhaps because I'm impatient by nature, I start jumping. So I jump from yellow word to yellow word. In other words, the yellow words are words that I have previously met, that I have looked up, that I have a meaning for, but they're not yet known. In fact, some of them they, that I might just have met are almost like new words to me, except they're no longer blue because I've met them before. So I looked them up again and again and again. So. What I tend to do now is I skip from yellow word to yellow word. There's the occasional blue word. So I look that word up, it becomes yellow and I go through my lesson that way. And I can go through a 30 minute, you know, audio file quite quickly. And I'm focusing in on the words that I don't yet know, which to a large extent are the words that I didn't understand when I was listening. Now there will be words that I have made known and I hear them and I don't recognize them. So nothing is perfect in language learning. However, it is enabling me to focus in on words that are on my sort of saved links list, but are not yet known. And I have like, I don't know, 27,000 saved links in Persian. I have only 10,000 known words. I want to move that known word number up to 15 or 20,000. If I'm at that level, I think I will be able to understand a lot more and eventually to speak more easily. So I just jump from the yellow word to the next yellow word to the next yellow word. And I'm finding that quite effective. One advantage is if I'm in a, a lesson on economics, then certain economic terms will show up fairly often. So if I'm jumping from term to term to term in a lesson on say economics, or a teacher strike or whatever might be happening, I tend to come up with the same word, the teacher's union or hunger strike or whatever. So I'm actually encountering these words fairly often. I'm also then able to go and listen again and see if I don't understand more and which I typically do. So I, I get a sense of satisfaction that I've gone through this lesson. Uh, and what's more, uh, up on, you know, until I started doing this, I found it difficult to keep up with my listening 
because uh, at Radio Fardo they have their you know Bada uh, Zohar after Loon, they have their Nimruz, they have their midday podcast, they have a number of these. And I want to process more of the language, listen to more of the language, quickly go through it to pick out the words that I didn't understand, perhaps move some of them to known. And this is the technique that I'm using. I would call it sort of speed learning when you're in the plateau. So it's also more enjoyable because it sometimes can be tiring to continue to read essentially the same words that you know and then struggle with the words that you don't yet know. Whereas this way I'm able to focus in. The interesting thing is if I try to deal with these yellow words in a list, which I sometimes do, I might look at them as a list say for that lesson before I go skipping. Uh, but if I look at them in a sort of list in the vocabulary section, which I also sometimes do, uh, it's not, uh, it's more devoid of context. At least when I'm skipping through the lesson, I can always look for additional context to the left or to the right of the word, that yellow word that I landed on. So it's a little more meaningful than just going through a list. So I don't know if that's helpful to, helpful to you, but I just thought I would share with you my latest technique and I admit that I sometimes move from one new technique to another new technique. I tend to blow a bit hot and cold, which isn't a bad thing because I think in our language learning variety is important. Variety is important to keep it interesting and anything, any technique that we can come up with that makes it interesting for us is actually beneficial for our language learning because it keeps us engaged. So on that subject, I want to leave a couple of videos one about listening and one about reading, but I do consider both forms of consuming input to be very much linked. And there may be other techniques that you out there can come up with that enable us to combine our listening activities with our reading activities. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.